In the name of Allah, the All-Beneficent, the All-Merciful. Be good to your parents, and your children will be good to you. Whoever is good to his parents, his child will be good to him. Woe to the son of Adam, a prisoner of hunger, prone to overeating, a target of calamities, and a successor of the dead. It is possible that a person who possesses apparent grandeur is actually the lowliest of the low. Self-sacrifice is the best form of benevolence and the highest stage of faith. It is when they prefer others over themselves that the spirit of noble people becomes evident. Whoever prefers others to himself has reached the height of magnanimity. It is when the time of death comes that the failure of one's aspirations become apparent. Your death will soon come to you, so be moderate in what you seek. Anticipate death and do good deeds. By this you will attain felicity through your hastening to good deeds while you have respite. Occupying yourself with improving your hereafter will save you from the chastisement of hellfire. Verily, you have been created for the hereafter, so work for it. I wonder at the one who denies the second genesis while he sees the first genesis. One who is certain about the hereafter turns away from this world. No one attains what he wishes for in the hereafter except by abstaining from that which he desires in this world. The one who assists you in obeying Allah is the best companion. A companion is like a patch of cloth, so take one that matches yours. The best brother is one whose brotherhood is not based on worldly gain. The best brother is one whose affection is for the sake of Allah. Many a brother has not been born to your mother. Accompany the intelligent, associate with the learned, and overcome your vain desires. By this you will join the company of the exalted assembly. Accompanying a fool is torment for the soul. Accompanying a wise friend enlivens the soul. Being in the company of an ignorant person is one of the greatest tribulations. Sitting with worldly people causes one to forget his faith and drives one towards the obedience of Satan. The loneliness of a man is better for him than having an evil comrade. How numerous are friends during times of prosperity and how few they are during the difficult times. Be careful not to drive away your friend in a way that removes all the affection he has for you and leave some room from your friendship for him so that he may rely on returning back to it. Be sincere in giving your brother advice, whether he finds it courteous or offensive. A friend is the person who is you, except that he is other than you. The wise person is one who selects his friend carefully, for a man is gauged by his friend. One who sits in the company of the ignorant should be prepared for fruitless talk and gossip. Obey your brother, even if he disobeys you and establish ties with him even if he shuns you. Do not associate with those who love this world, for if you have less they will disregard you, and if you have more they will envy you. Take comfort for yourself in solitude rather than bad company. Be more confident of your intelligent foe than your ignorant friend. Do not accompany the one who lacks determination. One whose friendship does not benefit you his enmity will harm you. People are more in need of good etiquette than of silver and gold. The best thing that parents can bequeath to their children is good etiquette. Everything requires intellect, and intellect requires etiquette. In order to discipline yourself, it is enough that you keep away from doing that which you hate from others. One whose etiquette decreases, his vices increases. One whose etiquette augments his intellect is like a lone shepherd among many sheep. One who has a dirty tongue has no etiquette.